So fecal cup protectant is the first test we want to talk about. And this is a test for intestinal inflammation. And so inflammation is in your bowel often because this is a breakdown product of, an, of, of white blood cells. And so when you have inflammation, it can go up. It can be elevated in a number of conditions, not just inflammatory bowel disease like Crohn's and colitis, but it also can be elevated in celiac disease, in lymphoma, in food allergies. But it is important to remember that it is not elevated in an irritable bowel syndrome. And that sometimes it's used to distinguish between uh, inflammatory bowel disease versus IBS. Because sometimes patients with your IBD also have IBS. And so it's important to know which we're treating when we have the, when, and we can use this test to help figure it out. So what is an abnormal level of fecal caprotectin? So this is a stool test that's measured as a proportion or a concentration. And so it's, it's reported in micrograms per gram of stool. And so a normal fecal cup protectant is a value between less than 50 to 100 micrograms per gram. When the test is about 100 to 250, it's kind of in the indeterminate zone. And so it may be relevant, but it may not be. But when it's greater than 250, we're pretty confident that there's active intestinal inflammation. So people sometimes ask, can you actually use a fecal cup protectant to replace endoscopy? And I think their big answer is probably sometimes. So sometimes, depending a little bit on what uh, the result is and depending on the, the circumstance, it can replace endoscopy. So when your fecal cup protectant is really low and we're trying to distinguish, are your bowel symptoms related to um, Crohn's disease or do you have irritable bowel syndrome? Sometimes we can use the fecal cup protectant and be reassured that you do not have IBD and that we, we don't need to move on to colonoscopy. Sometimes in inflammatory bowel disease, we do colonoscopies for other reasons, either to screen for uh, dysplasia or precancerous changes, or else because sometimes the fecal cup protectin and the symptoms of the patient don't correlate. So it's hard to know which one is the truth. And so in general, we find that the endoscopy is the, the most valuable test or the gold standard test for uh, the diagnosis of IBD, but we do use a uh, fecal cup protectin to help assess for mucosal healing. We assess for the trend in it to make sure that things are going down when people start treatment. And so this is a really important test and has been really helpful in us helping us manage inflammatory bowel disease. The other question that sometimes people ask is why can't I just do a blood test? And so we do actually have a blood test for inflammatory bowel disease called the CRP or the C-reactive protein. And this is actually quite valuable for us also when we're following the response to treatment. The difference is between a fecal caprotectin and a CRP is that the CRP can um, represent inflammation in your entire body. It might be re related to your joints or could be from an infection but we know that a fecal cup protectant is for your bowel. And so it could be a bowel infection, but we do know that it, it's elevated in, in the bowel conditions only. And so it's not related to a skin infection or some, some other type of urinary tract infection that you might have. 